Hello everyone, we turn back again. It's Cardboard Collection. And I'm Rizvan. And I'm Steven. And okay. today, we figured <laughs> we would bring you um, a how to play, getting back into the how to plays again, of Deep Dive, right? This is from Flat Out Games. It's, it's a really quick game. Um, what was the time? Oh, is that really? Oh, 10, 15, sorry, 15 to 20 minutes, right? One to six players, and it's for ages 10 plus, but I think... Someone under 10 probably could play this game. It's, it's a quick, fast kind of game. Uh, reminds you a lot of uh, Hey, That's My Fish from um, Fantasy Flight. It, it's, it's a pretty simple game to follow. So if you guys want to join us up top, we'll give you guys a top view and explain kind of how the game plays. Okay, I'm turned back here for to tell you how you put the ties, the small ties, on the table. It's have it for five different color but if you want to know more it's have a dots here okay one dots two dots three dots four five dots you put them separate Low, uh, light colors up deep 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 it's a dark color there okay here we have some different tiles we didn't put it already here because if you are plus four four and plus four uh, people for play you use this tile look at here it's have a one small plus it means if the player is a four or plus four you use this tile already i didn't use them because for example here three person wants to play okay if three person wants to play in a rule book we have something here it tell you, for example, uh, three player. Okay, three for each deep. Depth. Depth. Okay, it means for each one of this, I'm sorry, each one of this layer, I have to take out three. I'm take out this tree. I'm take out this tree. I'm take out this tree and this tree. And for example, this tree. Okay, now my board is ready because I'm ready for three player here. Okay, do you want to say about it? Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, if I say so, I forget something, you can help me. Okay. Good job. Okay. Okay, each player has a three penguin. Yo! <laughs> okay, and they put front of himself, for example, I'm he, this part of the table, one person, this part of the table, one person, this part of the table, but all penguin dive of here. Okay, I'm dive of here. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to tell you something more. What we have in these tiles, I put some of them separate for you. Okay, this ties has it food they are so different type of the fish and foods it is a food and it's how much point of this food they have a rocks okay and bubble 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 it's a, i think air inside air, that air some bubbles, yeah. air bubbles and some animal they can eat Put for penguins. Predators. Predators. Perd Predators. Predators. Okay, yo, yo. I don't touch them because I want to tell you what happened if you rotate tile and it's going to be one of this. Okay, for example, I'm green penguin. It's my first act. I'm move here. Okay, I'm rotate tile. It's a food. I can take it. It's a food. I can take it and turn back here and put it in front of myself. It's my point. Or I can go more deep. Okay. Now, if, if it's a food, I can go again down. Okay. Other food. I want it. I can take it back. If I don't want it, I can go more deep. Uh oh what happened this baby dolphin 
can eat me. Okay, I can't move anymore. I must stay here. I'm asleep here. Your turn. Go. So, oh, you want me to go through? All right. So I'll I'll play as the second player. I can go down. I can pick one of these tiles. Yep. It's food, as Rezwaner explained. If I get find bubbles, yeah, uh -huh. I have to go down another one mm -hmm. and then flip another tile. If I find a rock, it's just like food. I can bring it back up to the top with me, put it in my player area, and use it later. What a rock allows you to do is to go all the way down as deep as you want. So on another turn, I can get rid of this rock and this guy without checking all these can swim all the way to the bottom if he wants. He can go anywhere. And even if he wants to go somewhere and just grab some food, he can do that. So yep. a rock lets you sink down as far as you want. And I want one. to tell you why we try to move down a lot. Because how much we are going down, the point going to get more or bigger. If I'm going to be lucky, oh, oh. for example, this one 10 point, but top usually has a mm, small point. It don't have a lot of points. And you also get more rocks. predators. Yeah. More predators. Oh, yes. Down. Then down is better, but just chance. Okay. So if we go back to it, food, I don't want that food. I go down further. You could pick any tile. Mm-hmm. Up, oh, got caught by a predator. Uh-huh. Now, it's my turn. I want to tell you something different. I'm going here, for example, I'm rotate this. I don't want it. I'm going here. I'm rotate this. I don't want it. Here, already one of my penguin in the dangerous. I can't stay here. I have to move here, then rotate. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> it's your turn. Just I wanted to tell you, if one of your penguin here in dangerous, you can't stay here. You have to pass this line and go other line. You can pass the line. You can. Oh, you, yeah. You can go to that area or you can pass the line. Because what's you going can. on is your penguin's keeping that predator busy, chasing him around. So your penguin can pick from here if they want or just skip it. Instead mm -hmm. of flipping a tile here, they can go to the next one down. Yes. And then, let's see if I can have my bad luck. Nope. Bad luck. Nope. Bad luck. <laughs> yep. There we go. <laughs> so, why don't you explain to them what happens when all your penguins get caught? Yep. Okay. All of my penguins... Not caught. It's, um... Yeah. They are in danger. What I have to do... I pick all of my penguins, but in this way, exactly in this line, this line... This line, my penguin, catch them. I can choose one tile of all of this. I'm take this tile and take back all of my penguin and go back here. And it's my tile. I'm saving for myself. Okay. Do you want to explain what you do once you get a tile? Show people what you do with your tile? I'm do. Oh, okay. Yo, 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 yo. Okay. We have here. I'm pick here. I'm sorry. It's okay. And something you say bad luck okay oh, this is a kickstarter exclusive one so you might yeah no no i want a different color okay i want to tell you about how you put your points together you have here different colors yellow green and red food okay you can't put like a two yellow next of each other okay you have to put one yellow, one green, one red. Okay. If you take something like this, it's a mix of all the color. You can choose this for any one of this. For example, you don't have a red. You can put this here. All of this is your point. Okay. Now, what happened if, for example, I have it, one line I have two for second line. The end of the game. It's okay until now. We can talk in game score. Oh, good. Okay. All right. So the other thing, if you know, I would rather not talk about these tiles. These are Kickstarter exclusive tiles. Um, so if you backed it on the Kickstarter, it's just any color. It's kind of a little expansion. What you could do with this also is you don't have to place it until you're ready to place it. Most of the time when you get food, you have to place it. So you can set that off to so the side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, what goes on with this is you have to put your stuff in whatever row you get it. So let's 
say Resvon hasn't gotten these. These are still in the depths, yes. ready to be uh -huh. gotten. So she has that, right? And then she does get a green, like this green crab, which is worth two points. You know what, let's go ahead and go with the squid because this would make a lot of sense to everyone. So the squid, when she puts it in, it has to go to that top row. She yes. can't decide to put the squid no. down there or start a whole new row. Mm -hmm. Once a top row is finished, then you're free to put it anywhere else. Yes. Right? But if, like Resmon has you shown right here, if she got another yellow, you would set it there, another pink or red. Or it, I think it's yeah. pink, but you could set it there, so on and so forth. But the first one always goes to the top row. Yep. Next one, if she got another green, she couldn't decide to wait. She has to put the green second row. Second row. So it, yep. it sets up your scoring. Yes, exactly. All right. Mm -hmm. Then you go round and round yep. until someone has done what? How do we get to the end game condition? End game. If all one lane, all of the tile flip, don't have anything for flip, then round is game is over. Okay. And we don't have extra move. Well, no, you do. The game's not over. What ends up happening is whoever the first player is, when it uh -huh. gets back to their turn, they would flip this over. So it doesn't matter who does it, but mm -hmm. once, say, Rezwan gets it, we have three players, I'm the second player, uh -huh. I go around, I can do what I want. Third player does their thing. When it gets back to Rezvan, uh -huh. she flips this over and it says last dive. She goes and everyone else at the table goes. First player goes and everyone else. Yeah. So once that's done, then you do scoring. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting about this part. Uh, you told me better, thank you. Okay, then game get over. What we, how we can put the numbers together. If you fix one lane, you plus all the points down of that. Okay, but here I give a three point and two point but I didn't fix all the lane. What I have to do, I have to put them together. Half of that point is my point. Three plus two, it's a five. Half of this, I tend to give two and half, but I give for myself. For example, two. I give for myself two point for this lane, for top lane, 13 point. And each player has a more uh, point it's a winner I have a question mm -hmm. if me and you same point who's winner it's whoever has the most rows most mm -hmm. completed rows yeah and then if there's still a tie in that it is a shared victory so both people win oh and yeah <laughs> it's an easy game lovely okay we turn back again da, 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 da. That's so cute, game. Okay, let me read. Let me read. Let me read. Plus ten age, so good. You can play with your kids. And fifteen to the twenty minutes. Easy, short game. Good. One to the six player. Good. I think for six player, it's getting over so fast. Uh, maybe, uh, but you have the extra tiles when you have more than oh, three. Oh, yo. Yeah. This setup is a three player. But this is Deep Dive, right? Mm -hmm. From Flat Out Games. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, how to play. It's Cardboard <laughs> Coalition. It's, it's, we're Cardboard Coalition. <laughs> yeah, and don't forget, don't forget, right now, go back liking, comment, and subscribe, and Hit the bell notification if you didn't hit the bell for now. Yeah, we are going back soon. What was your name? Rizwan. And I'm Steven. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>